What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23 coming to you today with a little bit of commentary about Destiny and Bungie in general. Wanted to talk about something that happened um, earlier this week that not a whole lot of people actually have been talking about, surprisingly, because this is some pretty big news. Um, obviously things are going pretty rough for Bungie right now uh, with the way things have been going with Destiny. The community is not very happy right now and um, a lot of their own uh, beloved YouTubers who used to be, you know, their huge fanboys are actually starting to turn on them a little bit and are, you know, making these videos now criticizing Bungie, talking about how they can make the game better and all this other stuff. So it's been a pretty interesting time for Bungie this past few weeks. But the big news is that Bungie CEO Harold Ryan has actually left the company after 16 years at Bungie. So he's been there quite a while. Uh, you might remember he did uh, make some noise after the Marty O'Donnell lawsuit came out, there was um, a lot of stuff in there talking about how he had basically tried to get rid of Marty O'Donnell, and um, a lot of people cite him as one of the reasons that Bungie started to go downhill a little bit uh, when it came to Destiny, because it seemed like he really wanted to uh, bow down to Activision quite a bit with a lot of the stuff going on with the game and a lot of the stuff going on with the company. So really big news here, he has stepped down from Bungie, he's no longer the CEO, and now they are going to have... Um, Pete Parsons is going to be stepping up to take the job. So that's going to be interesting to see what he's able to do uh, with the game. And he, of course, came out with, you know, a company speak about how he's going to make Destiny better and they care about the fans and all this other stuff. And he basically said, you know, we, we want you to know Destiny is our number one priority. We think it's a very unique experience unlike anything else, which, you know, that's not really true. But uh, just the typical company speak that, you know, we, we, we want you guys to know we're, uh, that we're, um, uh, you know, here and we care about you, you know. So we've heard this before from from Bungie, of course, and we know better at this point. But anyways, I thought this was really interesting because it comes at a very, like I said, a time when there's a lot of turmoil going on uh, with Destiny. And, you know, they need, in my opinion, this is basically a way for Activision uh, to sort of have a scapegoat uh, for the game. Uh, you know, they, need, they needed something at this point. They needed to do something to show the community that they at least give, you know, half a crap. Which they, they really don't. This is just a publicity move, in my opinion. So, my thing is, uh, a lot of people are asking, you know, is this going to make Destiny any better? You know, is it going to make the game better? Are they actually going to be able to do anything now that Ryan is out? And my answer to that, unfortunately, um, is I'm very skeptical. I don't think it's going to make a bit of difference. I don't think anything's going to happen differently with the game. Because nothing's really changed. You know, Harold Ryan's out, but they, you know, they put Parsons in. And, you know, he's got a fairly decent reputation from back in the Halo days. But at the same time, the underlying factor which makes Destiny, you know, just <laughs> so, uh, you know, what, how it's been so bad lately is that Activision is still there. Activision is not going anywhere. Um, you know, so you've got, you've got that, and that's really all that matters. Uh, as long as Activision is in control of this game, I don't think you're ever going to see any super positive changes with it. Uh, because Activision has pretty much shown they don't care. Um, you know, again, they're... They're all about the money, and they've done this with a lot of different games. And you see this all the time with other developers. Uh, you know, Bioware laid off a bunch of people uh, after the Mass Effect 3 ending debacle with EA, and then also when uh, Star Wars The Old Republic came out and had very, a very lackluster release and was not a very good game and was not managed well at first. Uh, you know, they, they again, they laid off some people with some higher-ups at Bioware. So this is just something that um, is that happens. It's just it's a publicity thing. You know, Activision says, you know, a lot of Destiny's been taking a lot of flack lately, and we need to do something to kind of, something drastic to kind of make it look like we, we care. But uh, we'll see what actually happens here. But yeah, I, I wouldn't get too excited about, you know, Pete Parsons taking over or any changes coming to Destiny, because quite honestly, as long as Activision is there, as I've said in the past, nothing really is going to change with this game. Um, you know, they're going to keep on doing the same business model that they've done, and uh, you don't have to look much further. You know, people still are, I guess, willing to, to have some hope for Destiny since it's a fairly new game. And, you know, it's only been out for a year and a couple months. But you don't have to look any further than Call of Duty to really see what um, you're going to get here. You know, that that is pretty much what you can look for as the future of Destiny is basically what Call of Duty is. Um, that's what Activision hopes to turn the game into. They hope to get a lot of people hooked onto it and that will stay and play the game for a long time. And I think that's just what you're going to see with uh, Destiny. So don't get excited uh, just because the CEO quit. I, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. But um, it's very interesting that really not too many people are actually discussing this. So I found that 
Uh, found that pretty interesting now. And like I said, a lot of the YouTubers now are starting to turn a little bit on Bungie. They're starting to go into this uh, very critical phase now, and it's it, it's really hilarious. I was thinking about doing my own separate video addressing that because it's so funny. I've seen a couple of these uh, videos recently. Most notably, it was the one that Triple Rec did. Of course, a lot of people are talking about that one because it, it got kind of national press in some of the big gaming magazines and Forbes, and everybody was talking about it. Where he basically went on a rant talking about PvP and matchmaking and how Bungie has lost its way and all this other stuff and and how he's all disappointed. And I thought it was really funny because, you know, I'm looking at that and I'm seeing some of the other Destiny YouTubers starting to do the same thing. And it's kind of like, well, you guys have been leading us on for well over a year at this point. And it's kind of like, where were you guys, you know, six months into the game? Where were you guys eight months into the game when there were major glaring problems? Why didn't you say anything? You know, you kept going on like the game, you know, everything was great and puppy dogs and rainbows, like I always say, you know. And um, it just fascinates me how now all of a sudden it's like, oh, let's just turn on Bungie because it's the popular thing to do. And, you know, it's just, it's very interesting to see how those people are now, are now acting since they haven't had any trips out to Seattle lately. So it's funny how quickly people can turn against you, even your most loyal fanboys. So Bungie's just in a really tough spot right now. Activision's in a really tough spot now. Um, with Destiny, and of course the communication has been a big problem, and they really, like I've said in my other video, talking about how they need to be more transparent, they've really got to figure out a way where they can communicate uh, with the fans a little bit better. Uh, even Deej came out the other day and said, you know, um, you know, I'll, I'll be able to tell you a couple of things, but the dev team is working in secret. And everybody was kind of like, no, dude, that's not what we're looking for. We just want something, you know, information. Tell us what the plan is. Tell us what's going on. You know, because the whole, oh, it's all going on in secret in the background is what's gotten you guys in trouble in the first place. So, I don't I don't think much is going to change, guys. But, anyways, love to hear your all's thoughts down below. Like I said, I don't think it's going to make a huge difference because, like, you know, Activision's still there. They're not going away anytime soon with Destiny, so don't expect anything major. But, uh, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you're having a great weekend. I will have some uh, Division... Uh, beta stuff coming up. I did get a beta code from a friend of mine, and we'll be playing all this weekend. Try to get my thoughts on the game. I'm not going to do uh, you know anything real quickly on it. I want to kind of have a lot of time to spend with the game before um, I say anything about it. So I will let you guys know, you know, once I have spent some time with the game, and then I will uh, put my thoughts out there. So, like I said, hope you guys are having a great weekend. Hope you're having a good day. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you again next time.